So guys, in less than a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to create this PS3 games library I've created in God Galaxy version 2. And you can add games like this and this that aren't available digitally, but can be mixed in with your digital games, as you can see here. Some of those digital, like the Resident Evil and so forth, those digital. And then Driver is physical, uh, out protocol and so forth. I'll show you how to add games, like games manually, especially if you have to, because I already added, but you want to add them to separate platforms or set it to physical only. And, uh, yeah, give a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Leave a comment if you've got a question of the video to reach other people that may need help and give us that necessarily watch time so we can finally be rich via monetization on YouTube. Oh, I can smell the hot tub already. Hey guys, the best way to start this is to show you how to add games. That's the first important most thing when it comes to the system. So hit the search button up here. Type in what game you're looking for. In this example, I'm going to use a couple of games I need to acquire still that I haven't. I happen to know they relate to PS3 still. I've got a little acquire list, so to speak. So in this case, I'm going to put in uh, Fatal Frame 3 as one. Let's say that Fatal Frame 3 in this case is a physical copy. It's going to be for the PlayStation 3, so we're going to select it here. We can mark owned here as well instead. But we'll go in. I'll say mark as owned. And at the moment, that is added. Now that's not added to any kind of list at this point. It's just literally add it to our library, it will be in basically own games essentially. So now we've added that, let's add another one. We will search for Driver76, which actually is a uh, PlayStation Vita thing, but that would work more on PlayStation Television. I shouldn't strictly add it, but let's just pretend it's for PS3. Anyway, let's pretend that's digital, okay? So we're gonna select it again, I'm gonna mark it as owned. Okay, great. So now at this point, we've got two games that we've added as an example. We'll add one more that's completely random for good measure. That's not a PS3 game. Don't worry about it, but we'll still add it anyway. Let's do it for jokes. Doom Eternal. Okay, now it says for me owned game. This is great because now I can show you how to add games that you already own in a different ver version, but are not in the same platform or what have you that you want to switch it into. So I'll show you that. In this scenario, what you want to do is I'm out of that search window. You want to hit the cog wheel at the top left here. You want to go to add games and friends add game manually then you go doom again doom eternal and then we say mark as owned all right so now that's done it's like well where is it well go into search again go to doom eternal own game it's fine we go in there and what's going to happen is there's going to be this kind of diamond here that's saying that we've got three versions that we own I don't remember owning three versions. I think it's probably because of Game Pass and so forth. So you see we've got three here. This means there's multiple versions that we own. So if we check this, we can see that's the version that is a default at the moment. And this one with just a circle and no actual branding is the one that we've added manually. So we're gonna select that one. And now it's selected. Now what you might be asking at this point is how exactly do we actually make our own custom list that you've got going on here, Integer? Well, let's start that now. So basically what you wanna do, the magic is to use tags so if we go into this, what do we call this? Like a mixer icon looking thing here. You want to go to edit. What we do is we go and scroll down to tag. This is where we're going to create our custom lists. An important note to remember here is that it's possible that if you have to reinstall um, God the Galaxy, some of these custom lists will disappear, but it'll be easy to add them back again because tags are to your account and to the system as opposed to the lists here itself, which aren't in the same vein. So you might have to add those again, but you might have to do the whole process again. That's the main thing. So let's, in this case, I'm going to create something that is basically PS3 demo. And then just press enter. And that's now under the tag of PS3 demo. Now what I also want to do is I want to pretend this one digital. So we're going to say PS3 digital demo digital, because in this case I'm demoing it. And we'll press OK for that one. I've got to remember the other three games that we had it. Uh, it will be some work. Okay, that was good. So then I'm gonna show you another way. You should be able to right click from here. So I've right clicked Fatal Frame 3. Now I'm gonna go assign tags. And these are a whole bunch of these are just imported from my Steam. So you might have Steam imported things. Um, I haven't figured out how you get rid of stuff that you don't want when it's imported because it only goes from your account removal, but don't worry about that anyway. So in this case, we've got PS3 demo. And then this one is also, this one's gonna be physical, right? So we're gonna add a tag. This one's going to be PS3 demo. Now, I normally put it in brackets to be honest with you. PS3 demo physical. Hope I'm spelling things right. All right, so this one's PS3 demo. PS3 demo physical. We don't put um, the other one PS3 demo digital, which should be in in, um, in brackets, but it doesn't matter in this case. So, oh, get rid of that. 
use backspace if you want to get rid of stuff. And now I press OK. We can go into driver and do the same process, edit, PS3, demo, and this one's digital as well, PS3, demo digital. All right, so now we've got these lists of the free games with the same tag and some variation. So now what we want to do is actually show it here. So how you get it here into your list, which you can also reorder by just dragging with left click, dropping, is go to your search, delete whatever's typed previous, and just type in PS3 demo. Now all those games that we tagged as PS3 demo is now in this list, as you can see. Now all you have to do is hit the bookmark. Now you can see the list is here, so we can get back to it any time. So you can see here I've got my NES online games list here. These are the games you get with the NES online service. This is every single Nintendo Switch game I have, physical and um, digital, as well as the online service. And you can start to do separate things with this tag system. So back in the PS3 demo here, we see these three out here. And these are just adding all of the games irrespective of whether they're physical or not. Now if we wanted to make a physical list for the PS3 demo, what we do is go, you probably guessed it, PS3 demo physical. There we go. So now we have our PS3 demo physical games only. Now we have a separate thing here, we can just do like so. You can see PS3 demo, it's all the games that's our PS3 demonstration games. And then the physical ones are here. And if we add another game, we'll add a random game here. I know Star Wars Mega Bundle, PS3 Mega Bundle sounds good. We do that, mark it as owned for it to be added, go to edit, and then we can throw in our tag, it's free demo, and this one's going to be a physical only demo physical, okay? Now if you go back into your demo physical, the game is now in there. Easy. So hopefully that has given you guys a whole bunch of ideas of how to create all these different things that you can uh, do here that are pretty cool. Also in case you're wondering how you remove stuff, Go into the game or remove from library. Back here, and you can see it's removed, doesn't matter the tags are on there or not. Again, go in, move from library, and so on, so forth, and so such. Again, because we're this is the specific one, it's only going to remove this version, not the whole entire uh, list of stuff. Now, because we've got other versions of this, the tags still count here. So we'll just remove the tags and then it will no longer exist. There we go. Now that's completely empty because there's nothing in there. It's got the tags. But we can just right click, delete bookmark, delete bookmark, and boom, good to go. Two more other things, guys. You can also use this plus button here when it's uh, visible as a shortcut to the same menu that you can get by hitting that cog as I told you about. Add custom games as well as other things. And one more thing as a little bonus, you can see my PS3 list here, this is all my PS3 games at the moment. Um, I know it's not a lot, but I only got a PlayStation 3 second hand like just under a year ago now. But we also have a uh, like, full uh, physical list of uh, physical games that I have. Again, not many, but you know, you can see here there's uh, Nintendo Switch stuff and uh, PlayStation stuff, PC stuff, and all sorts of things here. And again, it's just using the same tag system. So if we right click, we'll see here that we have, um, you see it's got Nintendo Switch physical, Nintendo Switch physical only, and that's what the physical only is pulling from. And if I want to create a PS3 physical only, you probably figured it out. Go into the search again, put in PS3 physical here, like that. We will look up. And now we have a PS3 physical list to go with our PS3 complete list. If we wanted to uh, do a digital uh, PS3 list, I don't know if I made the tags for that actually, because I'd have to make several tags for it. But um, you would do the same system where you'd add the tags, but I would add, I'd actually have to do it here. Put in PS3 and put in digital. Enter. Uh, what else is digital for me? A quick example. I'll finish it off off cam. Resident Evil's are digital for me. Right click, go into the tags here. Yes, free digital. Go into the tag here, maybe I'll do it. Yeah, I think that's our whole thing here. So now that I've got that all set up, obviously this list right now is the entire PS3 collection I have. And I'm now gonna go to search again. It's already got my PS3 type in this, so let's go to PS3 digital. 
and then bookmark it and there we have it PS3 digital list physical only list and then all of the above together in one place awesomeness there you have it I hope that helped you guys figure this thing out and create your own amazing library share your creations I suppose use a discord for that if you want to and if this helped you out do the subscribe comment the like thing watch more videos that will be on the screen now no more haligato gozaimasu